Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. So I thought today I was gonna do kind of my top 10 favorite items right now. I have quite a bit. I don't know if it's 10. I think I went a little bit overboard with them, but these are items that I cannot live without. Some of them are tried and true items and then some of them I kind of just discovered over the last month or a year and I wanted to share them with you. And all of them I use on a daily basis and all of them I use really work well in my lifestyle, which is reporting and anchoring. And also it goes along with when I'm not doing that, I like to be fresh and clean without any makeup on, but I still like to use some of my favorite products with some of them are makeup. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. We can start with makeup. So I literally can't live without bronzer. I am like a bronzer fanatic. Right now my lighting can't really tell, but when you see me on camera, it's like, hey girl, did you just get back from like Hawaii or the Bahamas? So what I love to use is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I have been using this bronzer for so long, as you can see, I've already hit pan. I have gone through so many of these already. And I'm a contour girl, so I love a great contour. And I use it Cosmetics um, Contour Brush, and you can see it's flat. And so I really can do that defined line, get that defined line, and then some people are unhappy about something of their face, whether it's, I don't have cheekbones or I don't like my chin. You can contour all that. What I love to contour, because I do have high cheekbones, I like to contour my nose. And what I call it is a makeup nose job. So this really allows you to make that fine line right on the sides of your nose and at the tip of your nose to get that illusion of a perfect nose, if you will. Okay, so my next item, I work in a humid climate. It's South Carolina, Charleston, right on the water. It's just known to be really humid. I'm not used to that. I'm from California, so that's like way over my head. I have gone through so many different powders because I feel like I'm constantly powdering my face, especially in the summertime. And so I finally found the best prime, or excuse me, the best powder uh, to use, especially in these climates that I'm facing, whether it's super cold or really hot one day. Um, it could be cold and freaking humid outside. I don't understand it. But anyways, it's a powder that I can use all the time throughout the day and it doesn't clog my pores. And it's by It Cosmetics. I know I'm finding myself to be kind of like an IT Cosmetics girl. And I've also hit pan on this, but it's just a translucent powder called Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder. Sorry, I was cheating and reading it on the back. Love that powder. And then here's a new item that I found the other day. Well, actually I got it off a YouTube page. Another anchor, her name's Dominique. She works for the NBC station in Houston. I'm like obsessed with her YouTube page. I think because it goes along with my job, my career, and so it really just gives me great ideas and tips and tricks when it comes to makeup or what have you in this business. So I, she told me about that, she told me, cause she only talks to me on YouTube. No, she um, kind of mentioned a couple of her favorite lipsticks and she's a big drugstore uh, lipstick fan of L'Oreal. And then she said she splurged on one lipstick in particular that she wears so many days out of the week. I really wanted to say so much, but that didn't come out. It's by Lipstick Queen, and I've never used Lipstick Queen before. I'll try to... It's like a really weird packaging. It's not... I mean, it's nice. It's silver, but like, it's nothing great. I have to let you know, this was on the expensive side. Like, I was trepidatious about buying it. Um, it's $24, but it's their nude metal. And so it's a nude cutter, color, but it has like a sheen to it. And so I have it on right now. I wonder if you can see it. Let me zoom in. 
See that? It has like a sheen to it. Like, it's a nude, but it has like that gold fleck to it. Anyways, let me blow. <laughs> Other way. Okay, so that color I love and I'm obsessed with. I sometimes blend it though with like a matte color and then a clear lip gloss. I just like it a lot. I'm a glitter girl. Okay, when it's all said and done and I'm ready to take my makeup off, I use Aveeno Calming Makeup Remover Wipes. These are amazing because they give you that smooth feel with almost like moisture. Like you can feel that it has like a, a thinner layer of moisture on your face when you take it off. And I love that so much. So I use these, never deviate from any makeup wipes. I use these and then I wash my face with like Cetaphil or something. Is it Cetaphil, Cetaphil? I don't know. Um, which is very calming. And then I use Proactive. I know I'm still a Proactive girl. Um, oh, here's one that I use. Here's hair because I want to get into hair just real fast. We'll just stay with on camera stuff. Um, I worked in Texas for two years, so I learned how to tease my hair. And as you can see, it's, it's teasable. It used to be so much worse. Like you don't understand. I used to tease my hair where it was like, oh my God, what's in that? What is she hiding? And is she trying to get closer to Jesus? Anyways, so I got this comb. It's like double comb, if you will. I love it so much. Um, this is not focusing like I want it to. I got this for like $2 at Sally's Beauty Supplies. It works perfectly. Best hairspray. And you'll see this a lot. The L'Oreal Elnet um, hairspray satin. I got the one for unscented, but it still has a scent, I know. Extra strong hold. They also have one for colored hair, which I have. I should have bought that, but I think it was all out. Um, anyways, it's a light mist, but it holds your hair so well throughout the day. And it doesn't leave it crunchy. It's still like bouncy and movable, um, which you want, because you want it to look natural. You don't want it to look like a helmet head. Okay, so I have to admit something to you. I don't wash my hair all the time. I work out a lot and I seem to like only sweat in my head. Like it literally looks like I went swimming instead of running or cycling. Um, so I use a lot of dry shampoo and the best one is like $6 and it's by Batiste. And I get the light blonde one because it will turn out more of like a yellow color or white color. Um, if you have brown hair, you'll just look like you have baby powder in your hair and it's not cute. But I put it all throughout my hair and sometimes when my hair is too soft, I use this all the way through and it kind of dirties it up a bit. Okay, on to, oh, face wash. I should have told you about this. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the, uh, skincare line called Lush. We, I've only seen it in Charleston and then there was one in Maui that I saw and that's where I first discovered it. It's like all natural products and they're all made by hand. Fresh ingredients, it's amazing. And this one is called, I have a mask by them, I think it's called like something milk of magnesium, no, that's not it. Anyways, it's like a magnesium mask. It's amazing. Um, and this is a face wash and it's called Dark Angels. I really wanted something that was almost kind of abrasive to my face to get all that dead skin off, all that extra makeup that just kind of sits on your face and creates like a film. And so three times a week I use this before my face wash and it literally, it looks like this. It's called Dark Angel because it's made out of charcoal. So it has like black sugar in their charcoal and it exfoliates but also absorbs excess oil and brightens complexion. I just, I find it great. The only thing about Lush products, and I'll just let you know about this, they clog your sink. Because they're made out of like real ingredients, they have a harder time of breaking down, meaning like there's charcoal, sometimes they use oatmeal, um, sea salts, that kind of a thing. So just be aware of that. 
So on my days off, I'm not a big fan of wearing a lot of makeup because I wear such heavy makeup during the week. Um, but I still like to have like, um, you know, what do I want to say? Like not matte complexion, but I just want to be even. And I'm an eyebrow person, as you can tell. So I pencil my eyebrows in, I use a little clear gel, and then I use a tinted moisturizer that has sunblock in it. And my favorite one I have found is the Josie Moran Argon Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30. Um, this color is light too. I think they have four different shades? I don't know, don't quote me on that. But it comes in this little silvery purple bottle and it's a little bit thicker but it totally smooths out and it has a little bit of moisture from the Argon oil but not greasy, not greasy. And yeah, it's just a little bit tinted. Um, leaves kind of a glow too, so I like that. I will use this and it doesn't break you out, so you could even wear it to the gym, honestly. Um, and then what I love after the shower, you know, we all put lotion on, but I have really dry skin. I've just always suffered with really dry skin. Um, and so I use Eucerin, which it, like that's what doctors use or plastic surgeons use when they dermatologists sorry dermatologists use um when they have a patient that maybe has a burn or after a chemical peel and so it's really intensive repair for your skin and i use the sensitive skin experts intensive repair rich lotion and this is the richest it comes there's it goes all the way from light to rich my boyfriend hates this one he loves eucerin but he's like this doesn't even like like lather completely onto your body it's just so thick so it comes in a bottle like this it is kind of expensive for a drugstore lotion i think it's like 12 13 dollars but it's amazing and it almost leaves a glow to your skin because of how moisturizing it is um but it is thick so just know you can buy the like medium one or the light one um but this is the best lotion I've ever used in my whole entire life. I've only used this lotion. That's what my mom buys. Um, but anyways, yeah, Eucerin, great product. Most of these are all drugstore. And then the other ones I've gotten at Ulta. Um, two more items. I know, oh my God, this is going to be like a 12 minute video. Two more items. Um, I work the morning shift, so I have to go to bed super early. I go to bed at like 630 during work nights. Um, so I like to take a sleeping medication, but I don't want over the counter. I want um, something that's natural. So I use melatonin because it's already in your body. So this gives you an extra boost of it to really kick in that sleepiness. And it doesn't leave you drowsy or tired the next morning. You feel just refreshed. And so you can get them in like chewable tablets. I got these at Trader Joe's. You can buy them at a drugstore, anything, but they're great. And last but not least, I work out a lot. I work out like five days a week and I do cycling at this place called Rev Ride. Um, they only have one in Charleston and San Antonio, but it's similar to Soul Cycle. You do like push ups on the bike, you obviously cycle on the bike, but you also do weights like two pound weights. It's like the most amazing class, and I literally am drenched. I had no weight to lose, but after cycling, I lost 10 pounds. No joke, in six months. But I had like, I was fine, I was happy with my body, but I lost 10 pounds on that. And gained muscle as well, I got super toned. Um, <laughs> ding, cell phone. I'm important to probably my mother. Anywho, final product. Okay, so after I work out, because that's kind of my route I'm going, I, it takes about like 25 minutes to get home because I go at like 4.30 and traffic is just sucks. It's a nightmare. So I have to make sure I wash my face, but I don't really have time to wash my face. So I keep these in my car, Rapid Clear Treatment Pads by Neutrogena. And they're almost like alcohol pads, which I hate putting alcohol on my skin, but it's salicyl salicylic acid acne treatment. And all they are are these wet little pads and you just go all the way around your face and that basically is like an astringent and it just completely kills any bacteria. Anywho, those are my favorite products and I'll do a video that's kind of a negative video and tell you about the products I just bought 
that I'm not so happy with because I do not want you guys spending money on it. It's ridiculous. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I swear these are my tried and true products even if some of them are new. I love them and will continuously buy them. Okay, have a great day and I will see you next time. Thank you.